guys welcome back to the channel and today we are out in that bad boy right there lamborghini hurricane yes you've seen it probably in a couple of the previous videos finally she's finished i've had it for about two months now i've been driving it here and there uh, but yeah i just wanted to get the right look before launching it on the website but she is live tickets are 39p lads have a look that's how you do a hurricane lads i'm telling you anyway we'll do a little walk around go over some of the mods and then we'll go for a pov drive so enjoy the video <laughs> You good, bro? All good? Say no more, say no more. Come on, people. You know Ricky knows how to do a car, innit? Let's not beat around the bush. Man like Ricky knows what he's doing when it comes to specking up a car. That's how I'm gonna do my Lamborghini if she's Percy. Black on black on black on black. Tinted headlights. We've got the FIR style alloys. We lowered her. I probably got a little bit fucking, oh shit. But look, we'll go over the mods in a sec. But as mentioned, this is a Lamborghini Hurricane 610-4. So 610 meaning 610 PS. It's around 600 brake horsepower, 413 foot-pounds of torque. And of course the dash four meaning it is also four wheel drive. You can get these in rear wheel drive. You could call them a lower spec, more driver focused, maybe more fun version. But ultimately the four wheel drive version is the one that you want. Zero to 60, you're talking low three seconds, top speed 200 miles per hour, quarter mile, low 10 seconds. It's a seriously fast car. I know we've got some even faster supercars nowadays, but this is still a car that you go kill yourself in. It is very, very fast. It really, really is. Like, I'm not joking. Naturally aspirated 5.2 litre. You can see it's also mid-mounted. So you can see it back there, reducing 600 horsepower. She also revs to 8,500 RPM. This thing absolutely screams. It's got stock exhaust and it just sounds ridiculous. One of the best things I've been out in. I've driven many R8s. I always say that an R8 is basically a Lambo. After driving this, I'm going to tell you the Lambo experience is completely different. As soon as you go out in that car, everybody, the attention is just, it's off, it's off the scale, literally. I've had the McLaren. I've been out in the R8. This one here, I just, I, I don't get it. Like, don't get me wrong. I know that Lambos are sick, but the clout is different. When people see a Lambo, it's like, people lose their mind it's crazy like this is a nearly 10 year old car and it still gets ridiculous attention of course you know i'm not trying to act sport i know it's an expensive car and of course it's a lamborghini but it is kind of baffling it is baffling i'm not gonna lie to you so yeah it comes with a seven speed dual clutch transmission also i did buy this car from a company called dna auto house dylan if you're watching apologies i lost all the footage like i shot it a few months back whipped out the drone just got a sick sick video i shot at their company and uh, lost it all man just the youtube life for you basically i'm not sure if i mentioned the mods but tinted headlights i did ct carbon fiber splitter ct carbon side skirts we also did west forge alloy so these are custom built for this lamborghini this is actually my own wheel i designed this wheel some of you know i love the fir bbs alloys i love like the hre the r101 so i went with that style of wheel you can actually order yourself a set but yeah as you can see there's a little bit of arch cap and of course you know the car needs to have some sort of drivability if i was going to keep it i would drop it that little bit more 20 inches all round i basically copied the original uh lamborghini wheel spec uh we just changed the offset so that it sits in the arch that little bit better so yeah brakes are obviously huge you can see they are carbon ceramics you can see all those almost like little cracks in the in the discs themselves i think they're 380 mil discs six spot calipers anyway let's waffle let's get out and see what this bad boy's like to drive saying people you join me in the cabin and it is a very very special cabin i'm not gonna lie to you i'm gonna go course mode and we want to hit third gear yeah 
she absolutely rips. Just out of the box, I mean, look, let's just wind down a window. Everything is just, just feels like purposely awkward in this car. Whoa! Just sounds even better in this, I think, than the RA. Dual clutch transmission, man. All these new cars, they're all ZF now. They're probably saving a lot of money and they are really good, but you just never will get that precision that you get from a DCT. Don't even have to drive this car fast, man. So much drama. Obviously, when I think of naturally aspirated, I think of E36 M3s, E46 M3s and older BMs, but you got so much torque in this engine. I mean, even the B7 RS4 was a bit of a torquey V8. Like the E92, you had to really rev out. This car, okay, I don't feel turbocharged, but it just wakes up so quickly. I suppose it's probably, Probably the fact we've got a DCT as well. Quickly quickly downshift and get right into the power band. But yeah, it has been really cool driving this. Serious amount of tension driving this thing. It's just interesting to observe like all the different cars I drive and the reactions I get. It's obviously time, place, right person, right time. The universe just aligning everything. But coincidentally, this car, the second I got in it, like, I'm just seeing everyone with their phone out. I'm like, what the heck? This is when it was stock. Instant gear shifts. Have a listen. Fucking sick. So you can see we've got Sport, Strada. You can see up front, the whole infotainment system is in. Oh shit, fuck me. Yeah, all of the information is on this display here. So it's all virtual. And you can see you've almost got like this fighter jet theme inside here. I think that was the inspiration for this car. You can see loads of Alcantara, leather. You've got the orange stitching. There's no gear selector as well. Something that you do have to get used to. I'm not gonna lie, I've definitely changed my mind a little bit after driving this car. As in, I was always sort of, you know, I still go with the fact that this is more of a, car you go chilling like go chill with your mates go out in i like functional cars i like cars that are real driver focused i know branding is huge you know heritage you know, when I always think about the RA, it's not that I've ever thought that, oh, you know, the Hurricane is literally an RA. But I would say that having it for a couple of months, you know, it's a whole different thing to the RA. The RA is cool. Definitely huge value for money, but, you know, fucking Tesla wanker, just tried the thing. It was, I about to say, um, some things you've got to get used to is just like winding the windows down, you naturally go to the door car, but it's right up here. And even when you do get used to it, you don't know which way to bloody push it. Like, it's a bit of an awkward button itself. The indicators are on the steering wheel to flash your headlights. It's pretty cool. It's like you're playing a game almost. And as I say, you do have this fighter jet theme inside the car as well. Paddles are mounted to the column as well, whereas I think in the R8 it's mounted to the steering wheels. And also there's a bit of a gap, like I like to sort of hold the wheel and hold my fingers behind the paddles, but the distance is pretty far. I sound like I'm complaining a lot, just give me some genuine feedback. Unbelievable man, you are not beating naturally aspirated V10 engine, this is driving heaven. I've been riding the bike a lot recently, but I will always get annoyed with people on a bike. In smoky diesel? You want some of this, do you, Astra Van? This might be Donny that I filmed back in the day. Was his name Jim? That's what I mean, you drive a hurricane, everybody is just like, they want to play, don't they? <laughs> I'm not sure if I said it with Adam, like, just turns you into a bit of a kid man as you grow up you get a bit serious a bit 
turn into a bit of an old man like something like this just you know I don't know makes life just a little bit more fun lads Seriously bumpy through here, but the car feels sharp, man. It definitely is a seriously good handling vehicle. But you know, just like most four-wheel drive cars, you do have a little bit of tendencies to want to understeer. And obviously, we've got these Pirelli tires, so you need to be a little bit careful. But like a lot of Audis, not to say it's an Audi lads, but like even there, like mid corner, you get on the throttle and it just pushes forward. I'm mean, really not pushing it that hard. So I think it's almost designed to do it like some Audis. I think later Audis, they actually like turn in a bit better now and the rear likes to come into play. But remember, this is 2015, so this is gonna be when they would have been a little bit more cautious. Imagine we just kept developing these naturally aspirated engines. Like even a fucking hybrid system combined with an NA engine would be ridiculous. There's probably some cars out there. I know some you're gonna go, Ricky, fucking, what are you on about? I suppose the problem with majority of NA cars is they don't produce that much low down torque. So, you know, it's gonna affect miles per gallon. And the cars that do produce a decent amount of torque, it will usually be further up in the RPM. Let's uh, pull up here and as I do pull up like visibility is definitely an issue in this car you can see how dark it's got in this cabin as well there's no roof uh, convertible would obviously be cool uh, but yeah these windows they're like really thin look how sloped forward that windscreen is as well man that engine is unreal I notice in some four-wheel drive cars and I'm noticing in this is you almost have to be like a step ahead of yourself you don't turn into the corner in real time because you'll naturally take the corner wide you have to be and that might just be this because it's an older version maybe a newer one is a little bit different but don't get me wrong as I said not complaining I'm just saying as you really start to press the car it just reminds me of like uh, I remember when out in a, is it a B8 or maybe B9 RS4 same thing and most front wheel drive cars when you've got a bit of power like the tires just slip across the road that little bit to take you off your line but as soon as you come on the throttle it just wants to go a little bit wide but this is all stuff that I suppose 99% of people are probably not that interested in because they're just going to jump in here and they're just going to go poo to the bath <laughs> This is fast bro, very very fast, like gearbox is everything, it's so efficient, it just really gets up and just goes man, no wheel spinning, tons of traction, so yeah I think I am going to end the video there, as always if you enjoyed it, please can you hit the thumbs up and subscribe of course if you're new, and as already mentioned 39 p.m. ticket on the Lamborghini, ticket link in the description, uh, if you are new I have given away well over 10 million pounds in prizes thousands and thousands of winners and uh, i will be on the live draw uh, calling the winner myself so i'll see you guys very very soon